Hey, this is Latif Mikado, and you're listening to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, where I take some time each night to try and reflect on the freestyle scene, where it is, where it's going, and try to figure out how to sustain it, not just for future generations to enjoy, but also to benefit. So sit back, relax, and let's talk some freestyle. Hey, what's up? It's Latif, and welcome to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, and this is episode 97. Outside, another incredible night. Um, It rained earlier, so it's cool. Grass is wet. Driveway's a little wet. Santana's staying indoors. (laughs) Uh... Um, regular day, um, I'm very robotic, (laughs) that's the thing with me, I am very, um, systematic, how do you call it, um, I'm stuck to routines, I really don't change much, um, I can adapt to a new uh, routine, Uh, But once I adapt to that routine, um, I want to stay there. When I feel that my routine has to change for whatever reason, um, I also have the ability to shut shit off, you know? Um, An example of that is like when I go on cruises. So like when I go on cruises, I never pay like to have my um, cell phone turned on or, you know, to buy the minutes and stuff. I don't do that. Um, I don't bring... uh, Should I even say, do I not bring... I don't bring my laptop. I don't bring a computer at all. I don't use any of theirs. The most business that I might do will be... um, will be something like uh, business books. Usually magazines or a good book that I want to finish. And it'll take me a week. Um, so, so I have the ability to adapt to that. So if I'm on the road, the same thing. So I could be stuck in my, my routine Monday through Friday, Saturday morning, get up, go do a, to do a show, fly out. I get to the hotel. I adapt another routine and that's my road routine. And it's very natural. It's not something that I have to fight with. It's not something that anybody would notice. It just, it's a very normal uh, adaption, you know. Um, I bought computers, like I have two laptops. I have a mini laptop that I brought specifically to bring on the road. I said, you know what, when I go on the road, I'm going to do my writing. This is a great time, but you know what, it's not the same. Every time I bring my computer to do some writing... I usually don't write. I might force myself and write for a little bit, but since all the other elements around me are not what I'm used to for that particular um, task that I'm doing, um, I just don't move forward with it. So a lot of times what I like to do in the mornings when I'm in a hotel, I still get up really early it's probably the only time I drink that nasty ass uh, hotel coffee, <laughs> you know. But you see, I'm funny because when I'm here, I drink my Bustelo. I gotta have my Bustelo. I don't like that Pilon or that El Caribre or any of those. I don't like those El Pico. I don't like none of that shit. It's gotta be Bustelo. Now, if I have none, then I might deal with it. But if I have the ability to get some, I'm getting the real coffee, okay? However, I'm able to adapt to where I'm at. Now, I can't drink that nasty-ass hotel or American coffee at home. <clears throat> I can't. It just does not, just doesn't work with me. However, I can drink it in a hotel. I could drink it in a restaurant. I can go. I actually like I have coffee. I don't drink Dunkin' Donuts coffee or McDonald's coffee that everybody brags about. I don't like them. 
you know. Um, I could do diner coffee. Um, but I can't do diner coffee at home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So this is what I'm saying. It's very weird uh, the way I am. I'm a very systematic. Um, I have a set routine. And it's not a routine. I sit there, oh, well, I'm going to... This is my routine. This is what the list is. This is what I do every morning. Uh-uh. I don't need to do that. It's automatic. My entire routine is automatic. Now, this is the deal. This is where I get screwed up. Now, Angel doesn't... She's not a late sleeper, but she sleeps a little later than me. Not that she sleeps later than me. I just get up earlier than she does. I get up earlier than most people do. Um, I like that time by myself. Um... And I usually use it for something creative. Normally, it would be to work. Lately, it's been to do the TikToks. I like to knock them out in the morning. I seem to have a little bit more time. Um, and I love the creativity that, that, you know, I always want to apply. This is why I don't go to the gym in the morning. Everybody says, oh, you should get up early and go work out at the gym. See, this is my problem with working out. The mornings are so creative for me that I hate wasting them on the gym. I hate wasting them in the gym. Then the evening is too late. I'm so damn tired because I got up so early, you know? So a lot of times I will have to break out sometime in the middle, in the middle of the day. And that's the routine. Now, I've tried them all. I've done the nighttime workout, which I did for maybe a week or two. It was cool. You see all the people coming from work. It was a little crowded. I hung with it. I was a little excited. But it grew old real quick, especially for my job, okay, because as an agent, I get a lot of West Coast calls. So when I go in the evening, it's still pretty early over there, and that's a lot of times people want to call me in the afternoon or the late afternoon, early evening, you know. I've tried the morning workout, and I've done that for months at a time, but it really, really tapped into my creative space because I came home. And of course, I gotta eat. Of course, I gotta shower. Of course, I gotta I gotta change my clothes. And it just wasn't it just wasn't working with me, you know. Um, yeah, the gym was empty. Uh, the time that we went, uh, I just I get, I get, and I did it for a long time. You know, I did it and I was able to do it, but I neglected my creative space that creative time that I have and this is my advice to any of you guys who are on the creative time if you like to write or you like to draw or whatever the case may be you create whatever whatever it is you do um, find that time a lot of times you can't force that time people say oh you gotta force that time a lot of times you can't you can adapt to that time in time if you become consistent. So let's say you're a person who likes to draw. You say, well, you know, I like to draw in the morning. Yeah, that might be your creative space. You know, but let's say if you say, well, you know what I'm gonna do? I like to draw in the morning, but I'm gonna draw at three o'clock every day. I'm gonna force myself. You have to do that for a while until it kicks in. And sometimes to be creative, it won't work. It won't work for you. Afternoons are not that creative for me. Evenings are, but I have to be careful with evenings because evenings, I can end up working to a point where I stay up too late. And next thing you know, I look at the time, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, and I can't be doing shit like that. I get up too, too, too early, and I, I don't like that 2 p.m. comes along and I'm sleepy, you know? But let's say I get up in the morning, and I have my regular routine. So my routine is I get up in the morning, I jump in the shower... I always get dressed, even though I work out at home. I always get fully dressed, even if it's shorts, sneakers, sweatsuit, whatever. It's always sneakers. Always got sneakers on. The only time I put like slippers on is weekends, Saturday and Sunday, even if I'm gonna work. So it kind of mentally changes shit for me. You know what I'm saying? So it's weird. <laughs> oh, um, it's really weird. So I know I'm gonna work, but I'm also gonna break away a little bit. And I might go watch a series, or I might watch some YouTubes, or just even if I work all day on a Saturday and a Sunday, the fact that I'm in slippers kind of makes me a little bit more relaxed. It makes me a little bit more relaxed. 
Um, by the afternoon, I might change out of my my sneakers. Like so, let's say I have to dinner. If I'm gonna go and I'm gonna work some more, I might take my shoes off. I'll still stay dressed, but I'm gonna take my shoes off, put my slippers on, and that just kind of relaxes me a little bit. And then what? what usually, what I'll do in the evening, if I my creative time in the evening, is usually when I'll do some sort of graphics. Let's say I'm building, I'm doing some, maybe I'm doing some, some memes that I'm creating, some quotes, anything that, that, that requires like Photoshop or yeah, stuff like that. Um, editing, I could do my editing in the evening. I don't like to do editing in the morning because it's so tedious and time consuming that I could really, really suck up a lot of my time. And it's relaxing. Editing to me is very relaxing. I think I'm really good. I'm talking about editing, not TikTok editing. I'm talking about on my computer, you know, adding the music. And any of you guys who've seen any of my editing work, you know what I'm talking about. My on the roads or uh, my vlogs, any of that stuff. Um, but let's say I get up in the morning, you know, I get, you know, I take my shower, I get dressed. First thing I do is I put on my coffee. I might put on the TV in the living room while I'm getting ready, but I'll put on uh, YouTube and I usually put on one of my speakers, whether it's my motivational guys, maybe a motivational uh, video. So if you guys ever want to like get your juices flowing in the morning, I've been doing it, God, way more than 30 years. I've always been into speakers and influences and they, you know back then they called them motivational speakers now they're more influences today um and that's people like back in the days it was like tony robbins les brown uh proctor um some of the old old dudes that were not even around anymore like napoleon hill and uh you know people like that um so if you really want to get your juice is flowing in the morning. I, I advise that. Nowadays on YouTube, you just go on YouTube and type in motivational speakers or better yet, motivational videos. Let's say you want to work out in the morning or let's say you have a routine that doesn't really require you to read or you just kind of maybe it's a physical thing. You put something like that on. Uh, they have these now, these video compilations. So within um, you know one video, you might find, uh, you know, maybe 10, 15 different uh, motivational speakers. And they'll have these little quotes and it might be one central theme and they're all going. So I'll do that in the morning while I, you know, make my coffee. And then of course I'm setting up my, uh, my computer to sit down to start my writing in the morning. Um, nowadays it's been the TikTok. Now let's say Angel gets up in the morning and now she's in the kitchen and I'm in the kitchen, okay? Let's say, I, I know I'm a pain in the ass, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm revealing to you how much of a pain in the ass I can be because I'm aware of it. Uh, so let's say, you know, I'm doing my coffee. I have one particular counter that I like to prepare everything, you know. So my coffee maker is on one side of the stove. Uh, I work on the other side. The, the, the cabinet right above that counter. So I have my coffee and the sugar and cream and so on. So everything comes out of the cabinet. It's on that counter. My coffee cup is there, my mug, and that's where I prepare my coffee. Now, God forbid, she comes over to make her tea, and she decides to place her teacup on my counter. It messes with me. I'm not a dick in the morning, trust me. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I don't get on her. Sometimes it's funny, it becomes a joke, and I'll pick up my cup and I'll move it to another counter. Well, I'll be like, hey, Vic, can you, like, kind of give me some time? Can I finish? And then kitchen's all yours. Because other than that, I don't go into the kitchen for anything else, you know? Uh, but, you know, or oh, let's say we get up in the morning, right? All of a sudden, she gets up. She's getting up a little earlier than normal. And she says, oh, we have to go pay this bill. We have to go physically because they won't accept or whatever. Whatever the case may be, our utilities are like that. Like they don't accept payment online, which makes absolutely no damn sense. So I'll be like, what? You know, and she she drives, but she doesn't like to drive. A lot of times I'd rather, we have a Jeep. So we, I like to drive. So I'll drive her, but it messes me up now. Now 
she kind of you kind of threw a wrench in my morning. In my morning, it does. It gets screwed. Because now I go out. We have to go pay. Usually, she wants to stop at a store. Then we have to come home. By the time we get home, we are kind of lost. Kind of lost the taste for my coffee. Um, phones are already ringing. So my whole morning kind of got screwed up because of that one accent, you know. Uh, Angel's used to it. I mean, she deals with me. She has, she can't, we, we're like laces. It's funny. We're like laces. We, we fit perfectly. We cross each other perfectly throughout the day. Like I said, that's very rare. We're together a very long time. What? I think we're married 14 years. I forgot. Anyway, I'll get in trouble for even bringing that up. So, as I always forget, we got, we got married in 2000, 2007. So you guys do the math. But we were together like four years prior. So whatever, whatever, the, almost 20 years, I think. So, but but we've learned how to, really she has. I didn't adapt much. I really didn't adapt to her. I gotta be honest. She adapted to me. I was the one, when I came to the relationship, I was the one who, who operated the way I operate. I've had... I've worked on the system my whole life. It's just like I said, it's an eternal system. It's not something that I sit down, I wrote, you know? Not like a to-do list. Yeah, I have those too, but that's not my system. The to-do list has to do with the project, the projects throughout the day that I want to knock out. That's, that has nothing to do with that. I'm talking about my regular routine, you know? So, but, um, but yeah, so that's me. And that's, um, that's you know, nothing's really changed on that angle because I work out at home, you know? Uh, the difference now is with these podcasts, and, and which is really cool because I, you, listen, this has yet to be a burden, not even once. I look forward to doing the podcast. Um, I still come to the, to the, I press record without knowing what the hell I'm gonna talk about. And I love it. Like, I don't like, this conversation is brand new to me just like it's brand new to you. So it's cool. I kind of wish I could hear you guys talk back, you know. Um, but I look forward to it. And the family is used to it. Just like my family, any kids that grew up in my house, my daughter, my son, now my grandkids, they are very in tune with my routine, especially when it comes to work. Um, they know how to handle when to work, when to go to my office, when not to go to my office. If I'm on the phone, they have a question. If I'm doing a podcast, put it this way, like yesterday, Santana looked at the time. Remember, she's only eight years old and it was what? 1030. Poppy, she calls me Poppy. She's Poppy, uh, you gonna go do your podcast now, right? I said, yeah, actually I am. She goes, can I go outside in front with you and skate? I said, okay, come on, you know? Um, so she's aware of the podcast. And, and then there's been another time where I was out here and she came out to ask me something. All I did was put up my hand and she understood and she turned around she went and she waited Angel did it the other day but see Angel didn't know she thought I was on the phone so she came in and she kind of threw me off and that's the first time in all these episodes that she ever did that you know I don't know if any of you guys work at a home um, it takes a very special person to be able to do that the right way very special person but let me tell you something there's nothing like it, man. There's absolutely nothing like it. Like, when I came out of prison, I was terrified. Guys, I went into prison, a kid, I came out, a grown up, a year later, after prison, I had my son. Um, mentally, I wasn't an adult yet. I, I have not lived an adult life. You know, my relationships have crossed paths, you know, I went always around women, was always with women. I went from my mother to my kid's mother to Angel. That's it. That was my life. You know, the girlfriends and stuff in the early days, yeah, that's different. But I still lived with mom is what I'm trying to say. You know, actually, I went from mom to prison to mom, then to the kid's mom, and then to Angel. You know? So, and, and what's so funny, I tell people this, it's, I'd say it as a joke. Because it's actually kind of funny. Do you guys know that I have never in my life done laundry? Whoa. <laughs> I've never done laundry in my life. I've owned 
about a dozen washes and dryers in my life. Um, I, I don't even know how to work them. I'm sure I can look at the knobs and figure them out. Never had a reason to, you know. Moms did it. Uh, the laundry in prison did it. The ex did it. Now the wife does it. You know, just don't. I just never had a reason to do laundry. I don't know if that's something to be proud of. It's just something. It's just a, it's just a thing, I guess. You know. Um, but uh, yeah, I figure I just <laughs> bring that up because I think it's uh, real funny. But if any of you guys um, ever thought about it or work from home, it really takes a special person. What I was trying to say was, when I came out of prison, one of my biggest fears was, especially with felonies, my biggest fears was, what the fuck am I going to do now? Serious. Like, I didn't know what I was going to do. I could not contemplate myself having a regular nine to five. I tried. I tried. If I had to rely on that, I think I would have had problems. I don't know what my life would have been. I didn't grow up wanting to be a booking agent, but being a booking agent is what helped my life big time, which is why I have a, a certain respect and a certain admiration for it. You know, it played a big, big, big role in who I am, what I do, what I have, and so on, you know? But, um, but anyway, uh, so working from home, you know, especially if you have a family and let's say the wife works home or she doesn't work. It really takes a certain discipline to be able to, um, to, to deal with that successfully. Because, and it can't be a discipline that you're working on. It has, this, that sort of discipline has to be within. It really does. Like, if I had to sit there and figure out how to work all day and separate my work time from my lifetime under the same roof, I don't think I could ever have done it. So it was a natural uh, thing for me since I love to work and I was, I was, it was easy for me to um, absorb myself, like just engulf myself in work um, and be able to be in my office on a solo tip for, you know, hours at a time. Then um, uh, I think that's what made it possible for me to do what I, what I did to the point where working, I had to actually break my way away from work. I had to break away. So it wasn't like, oh man, I'm gonna go in the house and watch another show. I'm gonna go in the house and sit down, have a snack. No, that didn't exist, it never did. And I'm, I'm very fortunate that I was able to basically have my cake and eat it too. I watched my kids grow. I saw my daughter get out of the bus and now my granddaughter get out of the bus every single day and put them on the bus too. So very, very, extremely, extremely beyond blessed, beyond fortunate. Um, but anyone who has the ability or has the thought, now's the time to do that, especially now with the internet age. And of course, you know, I'm here. So if any of you guys have any questions um, in, that, in, in that aspect about working for home or if there's any, please, you know, I'm here. Just ask. Feel free to ask. Um, I'll share with whatever, whatever I know, you know. So but anyway, guys, listen, that's it for tonight. I'm, I'm shutting down. I'm exhausted. Uh, until tomorrow, be cool, be safe, God bless, and good night, freestyle. Before I lay me down to sleep, I pray to hear a freestyle beat. For if I die before I wake, I hope to make it to the break.